guys. I know I never used uh, you know, my voice in any of my videos, but in this in this video I will. Uh, you, most likely, if you're watching this video, then you haven't seen any of my other videos though. Most likely, you've you've looked up this tutorial, and yeah, so. Okay, so I'm sorry to the people who don't have a computer because you will need a computer to do this. It doesn't have to be some sort of gaming computer, it just has to be any old computer. And so for this you're gonna need something called Notepad Plus Plus. I'll be leaving that in the the link for that in the description. And you just have to download it, it'll open and install it and it will install it. And then once you have that installed go ahead and well you are also actually going to need something called a developer account you may or may not have it already but if you don't have it then you could probably just search up uh, a tutorial on how to make an oculus developer account once you have an oculus developer account you will also need to download sidequest and I'll be leaving that in the description as well You probably also ha you probably already have this if you have a developer account already. And then, once you have all that, you can go ahead and start with opening SideQuest. Once you've opened SideQuest, well, first I have to wait for it to load. Go over to Files, and then just you could probably you could just press Blade and Sorcery right here. And it'll take you to the mods, but you you don't have to do anything with the mods. Just go to files, and then instead of going to mods or like any of these, go to saves. Okay, just open saves and then open default. And then this part, you just have to save this to your desktop, or you could save it anywhere. But I recommend doing it on your desktop. It's easier. So you just save, select location, save to PC. Then once you saved it, go over to wherever you saved it. In this case, I saved it on my desktop, so it's right here. Once you have it on your desktop, right-click it, and if you downloaded Notepad++ correctly, then once you right-click it, this should appear right here. Press that, and then it'll give you a lot of o different options. For you, this will be this will be set as false, and this will be set as zero. Okay, but if you want some bloom, then well, you, all you have to do is set bloom as true, and then set the intensity as well. Whatever, just I I have it as a hundred right now. I'll probably lower it to like eighty, not hundred eighty. I'll probably lower that to eighty because a hundred's very bright. I don't know if 80 is going to be much better but hopefully that hopefully 80 will be really good then you can change a bunch of other settings around here you can mess around with this and then you can change something else you can change is the shadow distance which you know and then render scale render scale makes it so then pretty much just smoothens out the game makes it makes the pixels smaller you know just letting you know if you don't know what that is so if you want the game to be smoother if you want the game to look a little better you want the pixels to be smaller then you can change that to two but ne but don't go anywhere like don't go to three because three makes it way unplayable if you want to change the resolution scaling I recommend going from one to two so probably maybe around like 1.5 like I don't know I would go with like 1.5 or something but I'm keeping mine at one because I don't want mine to my game to lag too much. Let's see. Yeah, you can change all this stuff to and play around with it. I recommend 
ma actually making a, um, I recommend making a backup just in case something goes wrong. So, like, you know, if something goes wrong, then you can just put your backup in the back into side quest and then, yeah. And then to save the changes, then just press this button that says save right here. And then once you've saved it, then you can just exit out of it. And then this is the the one that y that uh, I changed so now all you have to do is delete the original one and then put in the new one that you just edited now just restart your game and then the changes will be there